Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your January 17th full moon reading. Um, this full moon is the full wolf moon, and it's happening in the sign of Cancer. So um, this is bringing you fulfill fulfillment of what you started sort of around the new moon. Okay. Um, it's an emotional time, so it could be romantic. Um, it could be fertile, so be careful, or congratulations. And it's about relationships, so it is in Cancer. And Cancer is very um, emotional, right? So it's very, uh, very much in the emotion. So let's see what's come out for you guys. Okay, so you have stepped out of your comfort zone. You're very close to achieving your goal, and the answers you need are coming, okay? So this is about, um, I think, really, and Pisces, you're always guided to do this, right? Because you are intuitive. It is about going in. It's really about, um, you know, going inward to go outward. Make sense? For Pisces, it will make sense. You guys will understand that. Um, so, yeah. Let's get, some, let's get some more cards for you. Step out of your comfort zone. If your north node is in Pisces, this will have um, a little bit more... Um, meaning for you. Yeah, go look up here. The North Node is really actually interesting. Um, so let's go ahead and get some cards for you guys. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate the support and it's free and my channel is tiny for now. So I'd like to be able to grow and get my readings out to more. Um, keep in mind this is a general reading. So this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and, well, definitely North Node because it came out. So uh, let's see. And energies can change, right? It's just a general. Try to pull out what I can. Don't shoot the messenger. Let's go. Oh, that's interesting. I love it when cards fly this way because that's forward. I, I love that. They always seem to fly backwards. Sometimes I get a ton forward. So let's see what's come out for you guys. I'm just going to slide these all over because this is almost like off the screen. So back in, in the back, 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 you have the four of pentacles in the reverse. And this is like sort of, you are holding on too tight to a situation. Um, I feel like you might have been protecting yourself, right? And, um, and you're very vulnerable. And, and it's about, I think that you've started to really develop your trust in yourself. Right, so you're a very un Pisces here, right? You, you, something had really messed you up. And look at this, oh, gorgeous. You put an end to the situation or you put an end to the thinking, okay? So, no matter what's happened, yeah, we have the King of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles came out a little bit um, upside down. So, it's it's almost like you've had to overcome, like you're starting to flip um, how you're thinking about money, how you're thinking about your stability, how you're thinking about, like you're really um, maturing with what success and healing means to you. You might even be really, really starting to embrace um, your, your intuitiveness, your healing, your empathic side, okay? So um, that's a really beautiful energy to have. You have the Ten of Wands in reverse. So you're, once you start to do this, right, and you put an end to this, a burden's being lifted. You're really moving into who you want, and you're taking what you need to. And the Queen of Pentacles has come out. This is gorgeous. So you are actually, with the King and the Queen, you actually might be moving towards your divine counterpart, um, which is gorgeous. Remember, um, it's not gender, okay? It's just um, energy. Okay, so you're you're moving on with this ten of wands, and your everything is sort of shifting, right? And then you have this beautiful queen of pentacles, which is um, you may be moving and finding somebody who's actually generous and kind and um, respectful, right? And um, and just very dependable and grounded, right? Um, yeah, and it could be somebody who is in the health field. It could be somebody who is um, just very, um, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's quite beautiful, actually. So then we have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, this is going to balance out whoever this is that's coming into your life. And it doesn't have to be romantic, but all of the energy says it is. Um, it says that it's going to bring balance. There's going to be a lot of balance here in the Ace of Swords. So this is victory and breakthroughs, right? This is um, a brand new beginning. 
right? And this is going to be like a gorgeous, it's going to be gorgeous and like the magician comes out. So you're manifesting it. Everything is as it should be right now. And look at this. It's funny because the magician is Gemini and it comes out under the full moon in Gemini. I don't know where the next full moon in Gemini is. But it's, guys, this is like, this is such a, like I'm getting goosebumps. This is such a good reading. Um, yeah, you've been working so hard and you're slowly becoming comfortable with things that you weren't necessarily comfortable with before. Maybe you didn't realize the impact that it had on you. And you're going out of your comfort zone, right? Look, you're very close to achieving your goal and the answers you need are coming. Like everything here with the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, this is actually really, really, it, like this is like the ultimate couple that you really want because they're grounded. They have love. They have family. They have finances together. They have, like they're very even and very balanced, um, but they also are very healing very nurturing which is really really beautiful can i get more cards please more cards coming out in the future that's good okay one more i'm gonna see what that card is oh thank you yeah oh my gosh so you have the two of swords in reverse i don't think you really see this coming I think that um, you might be a little bit confused, um, but I think that um, the, the answers you need are coming. So until it happens, you may have a little bit of confusion coming out about it. Oh my gosh. And here, step out of your comfort zone and you're very close to achieving your goal. You have the star and you have the emperor. So you are, um, life is falling into place and you have the emperor that's come out right? Like life is falling into place with this stable, um, wonderful person, right? Like the King of Pentacles and the Emperor, that's, that's a really beautiful energy to be having. Can I get more cards, please? I'm going to, that one was poking at me. Let's see what that one is. Any more cards, please, for Pisces? Okay. Yeah, so let's see what this one is. Yeah, the King of Cups in reverse. So I think that what it is is, I think this is what you're actually getting over. This is going to help you. Um, there is somebody in your energy that's very manipulative, right? And somebody who is trying to, like this, this whole situation is going to help you get rid of the fear of whatever this person created. They're still in your energy, but I feel like you need this to happen for you to fully release them. And you have the three of pentacles. Okay. So, and this is about recognition, right? You're learning. Okay. And you're successful at getting rid of this person because this person was trying to get rid of you. Okay. But what you've done now is you've sort of flipped it and it's not even in revenge. It's not like that. It's like you've gotten rid of them by healing yourself you've gone on and you've found yourself. Now, just so you know, guys, if you're not interested in a relationship, that's fine. This could sneak up on you, okay? Because you can't see it coming, but this could also be just you merging with yourself. You're embracing your masculine and your feminine together, okay? So it's not to go, oh, you know, love is coming in, meh, whatever, okay? It could, okay, but how many people is that really applicable for? But what I do have to say is the more that you merge with yourself, the more that you're going to be attracting the people that have the same um, mindsets as you. And you may be attracting in a partner or at least a really cool friendship. Okay. Let me see if there's just any more cards around this. Is there any outcome or advice for Pisces? <laughs> any outcome or advice? Any more outcome or advice? Just because this reading happens so fast. Good. One more shuffle. Outcome or advice? Oh, something flipped. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what this one is. Yeah. So what you have here is, oh, and another one came out. The hangman came out in reverse. So I think you might need to sort of see something from a different perspective. 
right? And I think you need to sort of relook some of your friendships and your community and your support, and you might actually be finding new ones, okay? You have your two of wands, and this is about saying yes to something new, okay? This is about start starting something new and awaiting the results. And, um, and so your ten of cups came out, but it came out in the reverse. Um, this is about just keeping a positive attitude, okay? So it's about um, there might be some other circumstances that are just slowing this down a little bit, but you need to stay positive. You need to stay in manifestation mode because this is coming through. It's just like because this reading came through and it's like so for some of you, it might just take a little bit longer and that's okay. Stay in your power. Stay in your power. Keep doing what you're doing, guys, because this is a gorgeous reading. Please do like and subscribe. I would love to see what happens in the bonus for you guys. So remember, I don't have enough time to do all of the bonuses. So I go by likes and subscribes and views. So please do that. You can leave comments. I love hearing back from you. And I will see you in your next reading. Thanks, Pisces.